Short answer, no. Let's do long answer. So there are different levels of consciousness. Awake and alert, lethargic, obtunded, stuporous, unresponsive. So obviously we want, you know, up here, awake and alert. And as we go farther down, it's requiring more and more stimuli to get somebody to wake up. When we get to like um, stuporous, that was requiring me to use pain to get any response out of somebody. Supraorbital pressure, a trap pinch, sternal pressure, something to like, see, it is the brain interpreting anything, any stimuli at all, whether it's first was verbal, okay, verbal didn't work, okay, tactile meaning, hey, can I wake up, wake up, like, like a, just like a shake, okay, then okay, let's use pain, does pain work? And we when we get to that unresponsive level, that means pain is not even working. Okay, so then when the brain death starts happening, the car the talk of, hey, could this person be brain dead? Is when we do a full neurological exam and we get absolutely no reflexes, none. Like there is the most basic primal reflexes are gone. Then we start doing some in-depth like um, testing outside of the neurological exam, um, like apnea testing and some other things that are done. It depends on the state you're in, the facility you're in. And then they use all of that criteria to determine brain death. So someone could absolutely be unresponsive, but not brain dead. This is very confusing. It is complex neurological disease processes, but it's, we do, especially with media and things, tend to think if someone is like in a bed with their eyes closed and doesn't respond to anything that that means they're brain dead but not necessarily